Welcome to my Jabate Puerto and Social Forum. My Jabate is in the capital city of Numa County, Sanigore. Today, I'm in conversation with one of our brothers who is complaining about injustice in Numa County. Good afternoon, my good brother and friend. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, brother Mike. And I'm happy to be on your show this afternoon. And I'm happy, I'm very, very happy to be on your show. I came from Europe. I wanted to do certain work on my father's property. With all the legal documents I have in my hand, I pretended to pay. I wanted to invest in Sanicoli, be my brave place for tomorrow to where I can able to live in peace with my brother Mano and Kyo. But they have taken the advantage of punishing me one way or the other. As I'm speaking to you now, I'm on a bone for my own personal property, my father's property that was here where I was born. They go ahead and took the land from us. My, horse, my father's horses was here, was bailed. The former selling major have given their order to bust the horse and level the horse. That is one of my problems. And yesterday I was to the uh, uh, magistrate court. I was sued. That's why I have my legal document with me. Sam, uh, Superintendent Fangalo, the former selling major, Soko Sako, and the, the owner of the land. I, I have enough document to prove that the land is for me. The land in question. They have taken part of it. As I look talking to you, their warehouse was built on my father's property. And before building it, the Madingo tribal chief told them not to build it because they have disregard for our trap, the Madingo people. They didn't listen to the, the chief, the, uh, the chief of the Madingo, and they go ahead and bear it. But the former superintendent, and this is my problem. And we have one hundred acre of land that was forcibly taken and sold it to another people. The poor people sitting down on a building house without our consent, and we we'll ask them to bring the genuine document. Nobody can bring document. And according to the, the after the war, they say when we are here, we are going to move in peace. So, can you imagine I have to take one ten thousand yesterday to support my freedom? Tell me if any of our brother from Guinea who want to come and live in San Nicole, were he able to? They were only putting in, in prison because you don't have eight thousand for your own personal property. For your own personal property, so, the injustice that going on in Nimba County, we want our president. Just we are not to listen to the politician within in Moravia. If you want to do something, let him come here and see the people here and meet the tribal chief. The land that in question here is not something to play with it. Because today you can take my own from it. There are some other people who will come with different other intentions. And if you want peace, let the peace come. But peace cannot come. The other men have injustice. Our, our, our senior senator, you know what I mean. We want peace in Nimba County. We want peace in Liberia. But the peace will not come when, when there is injustice. The injustice here in, in Nimba County is getting proportional. It's getting out of hand. We want the president to come out, not listen to the politician in Moravia. Come down yourself and see the Madingo houses that have been occupied. Come and see for yourself. We have all these documents. We have enough documents. We have so many houses. When the owner then come, they were intimidated and they were wrong to go back to Guinea. Mr. Senator and Mr. President, we want your help now, now. It's getting out of hand. I'm myself, I came from Europe. I wanted to invest in my motherland. Why? Why? Why should I go to prison yesterday? Being that I came from Europe, I have enough money of me to take my body, charge me 15000 Why? Why? Why should it be like this? The injustice can cause another confusion. And we don't want confusion again in Nimba County. Mr. President, Mr. Uh, Senior Senator, please wake up. This injustice, you stop them, you stop the gap, come on, exactly other let the people move in the people's house in Nimba County. Don't marry politicians in Moravia working with you. They are all lying to you. They are lying to you. They are deceiving our oh, Madingo brother. When they go to your town for the election, they will tell you why you won. But they are not in the interest of the Madingo did, people. Did you consult your Madingo elders, myself, ah, your ah, Madingo intellectuals? 
thank you very much. This is what I have the Matingo chief on Nibakate will be standing. I will allow him to elaborate on some of the what? injustices here in Nibakate. Did you contact on No, he do not. He do nothing in Nibakate because I never, since I got here, I tried to do my own other work to see whether if he has helped one family in San Nicola to resettle. No! No, I asked anybody to say he never had nobody. So this is what I don't want to deal with him. Because he's taking the money from the government and he's not doing nothing and nobody to fire him. Nobody to that shit. He's supposed to get you out of He's supposed to because he's not helping us. Okay, did you in a send communication to Senator Prince Johnson? No, it's so, so difficult to meet the senator. So what message do you have of Senator Prince Johnson? I've seen. He is a true son of Limba County. He must look at our condition. Don't look at the politician. Come down here in San Nicola, tell the people who live in the Matingo poor house, let them live. We are coming back. We are brother and sister. Let bygone be bygone. No Matingo may come here with any kind of violence. But our horses, we want them back. We want to retain our honor back in Nimba County. Don't listen to the politicians that are working with you. Thank you. I will let the Matingo travel chief to speak. He said, what's your name, my brother? My name is... Uh, uh, Kamara, Mr. Kamara, finally Kamara. You're talking about property? Yes. Can you estimate to us? This house that was here, it was our family house. I think it's about half an acre of land. The How many houses are we talking about? As I said, yeah, this was one big family house was here. They bring it down. They went to bury the house. I have 100 acre of land that is behind the tree track. We have four Oh, uh, Soviet order four. I have already paid for the Soviet for the Soviet to go ahead. If they have one other, I don't know, one other official of government denying the people not to Soviet the place because each time they say you come with your document, he don't come with no legal document to prove that he was the rightful owner. To come with a document and say, Yeah, this document to show to the people who he sold in Lento, yeah, I was the legitimate document. Yes, mother, he doesn't bring no document. Then if Soviet will be canceled, I get about four times. I have documents of everything. He does not appear with no document. They definitely indicated that the reason they were killing us to leave Nimba County, that was the reason. They okay then take their property. And we should as you know that we're not living in the jungle life now. We live in the rule of law. I'm not saying that to say I'm innocent of the law. No. Did you send communication to any human rights organization? I'm impressing right now as I'm speaking to you. I'm impressed because they have to take my bond yesterday, not being from one international human rights lawyer who interviewed together with the Madingo tribal chief. I will be impressed with all my European passport with me. They will put me in jail. I came here. You can see that. You can see the black there. The, the, the development I wanted to do. That's why that I want I was arrested for. You see the black there? I was building the black. I want to make store here to impress in my motherland. I become a victim of. Injustice in Nimba County. Those things they can't work. Those things will lead us out there. Let the senator intervene in Nimba County now, now the president. So are you trying to say there's a conspiracy against Madingo people in Nimba Oh, this for country? sure. For sure. Down to the Nimba County Madingo caucus. All of them, they are in the conspiracy. They will go to the people, the, the president, the senior senator, they will say what they want. Because they want money. They enjoy in Moravia. They enjoy they don't come on the ground to ask the people. You ask them what kind of horse you guys okay, I, I hold you right there in that day. So wake a call to all my dingoes in the diaspora. You cannot be sitting on social media and making big mob. You are listening to your brothers. Every time you're on social media, carry on argument. Every time you write a lump, commentary on, on social media. You are seeing for yourself. There is a social injustice in Nima County. When I mean injustice, Political injustice, social injustice, economic injustice. We are talking about injustice in Nima County. Madingos, I citizen of Nima County. What their poverty, poverty have been seized. Where are the Madingo intellectuals? Where are the so-called Madingo intellectuals? Where are the so-called Madingo intellectuals? They only sit on social media. They make big mouth. Yeah, it's a situation in San Nicolas, Nima County. Yeah, it's a situation. Where are the Maningo intellectuals who claims that they are in the interest of their community? But I have a mean the Maningo government. Thank you very much. How you doing, my brother? <clears throat>
I'm fine. So, what is your name and your position? My name is Alahaye Molisala Kamara. Mm -hmm. I'm a Madingo Travel Chief for Nima County. Mm -hmm. or, what my brother just said, he's right. Their land issue, I mean, is becoming very rampant. Two, the era don't want to talk the truth. We all were born here, we grew up here together. But the era will cause ethnic conflict. And the worst conflict in the world are ethnic conflict. Tribe fighting against tribe. Rubber work and car and feeling, but ethnic conflict is the worst one. And that is the one that they are creating, which will come through the land issue. Go to Ganta, you will see the Donso family, where they were born. They have been denied. Let what they get at it. Let what they sign on. Let what old man be the Bengali dollar family then. The same thing with us. This gentleman came from Europe. He told me that he want to pay his father land. We agreed he got a survey order, everything. When he came and put the stake here, they never started a back up. Carry him to the police. Why should he put this? He got his survey order. He got, we have the document from the mayor that he should come and do it. We need development. But they do not want development in their county. They can only say in their mouth, oh, we are all the same. I didn't go for your comeback. But when you come back to get your play, it's a problem. They will look at your father's land, and then somebody will go and bay on it when you try to say that my power will give it to his power. It don't go that way. I want all people, like the five parliament chief then that were here, they were one. You go to Zoga, well, old man Trazaman, old man Trazaman, there was no kind of tribalism between him and anybody. Here, Madugopo was friendly until he became Muslim and went to Mecca. <coughs> now, while Woto Mongru in Kampli. But the modern day we're in today, they don't want to talk the truth. We believe that we are all the same, but they are denying us from coming to Nimba to settle in Nimba. But why is it the Madingo intellectual? They can't, why they are not engaged in the central government? Sometimes some of them are afraid of their position. Because when they come out, they might lose their position for talking the truth. The harm I look at it. We on the ground here, we are feeling it. Like I told you about the Donso family property in Ganta. They signed on there. Eh? The dollar they give out them. They were born there. The elder there know very well that it's for their father. But still they lie and support their people there. No, eh, for their person. They got the original D and everything. Say they are denied of their property. So we want the president, the central government to come in and intervene. If they don't intervene now, they might cause ethnic conflict. And that's the worst conflict. And all those that watch me, I want this message to go virus. Make it as a duty to share it. Please share this information. It is very crucial. Madingos in, in San Nicole, Nima County. They are not in peace. Not even in Nima alone. They are being intimidated. I mean, not in San Nicole alone. Their property has been seized. But then the question is, where are the Madingo intellectuals who claims to be in the interest of the Madingo community? Where are the Madingo intellectuals? Oh, every time you on social media, they claims to be in the interest of the Madingo community. Every time they write commentary. But here is the problem on the ground. Where are the Madingo intellectuals? Where is Honorable Musa Berete? Where is Amara Conan, the former foreign minister? Where is Honorable Seka Ture? Where is the Grand Mufti of the Republic of, of Labiro, Sheikh Abu Bakr Smolo? Where is Joseph Sako? Then what happened to our intellectuals who are, in, who are living in the diaspora? Where are we? So it's you know, on social media they make beam off. When in fact they are not in the interest of their community. But I know you have something to say. Yes. Continue your discussion. Many of them are afraid to come. Because when you come, father will smile with you. But when you enter in Nima or Sanikole here, this my younger brother. He lives in Holland. He said he wants to come there. I encourage him to come. See why he put right here. Here he was born. He never even did whole year to go foundation for putting the stake. He was taken to the court yesterday. I have to stand here, boy, if not, then by now he's in jail. 
Is that the way we're going to live? Here you were born. You see it for yourself. Who brought this thing? Mr. Baka. The, 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 the special assistant to the former uh, city mayor, Mira Yang Gonepa. They saw 90% of the Madimbo poor land in the city, which I can prove. 90% have document to that effect. A complete hall to the Minister of Internal Affairs. The minister said that all the people that she sold their property, their property should be reformed and she should also reform the other people's money. That case went to Dr. Copan. The superintendent of Mima County, they step on it up to now. Last year again, I got out when they met the deputy minister, Honorable Mamadou uh, 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 Johnson. I told him about it. He said, Well, you are going to meet the minister proper now because which uh, uh, Honorable uh, Pani Sali, he was on that issue. Up to now, I have all the documents. The present superintendent refused to enforce what the minister told him to do. I will give you that document. Is that in the interest of peace? Sitting mayor selling people land, the superintendent or defending her to do so. The same superintendent and administrator assistant stopping us. We never put any decal here, here. He saw the stake and went to police. We have all the documents, all the legal documents. Is that the way we live? The boy want to be flatter and store on our upset. He denied the ball not to do that. Is he not a citizen? Let, let us assume that President George Weah is watching you. Of course. What message do you have for President Weah? Well, that's our dynamic leader. I'm happy that he, he travel a lot. And the more you travel, the more experience you gain. You see, they're talking about religion. He knows all too. So, I'm sending a message to our dynamic leader, our energetic leader who do not believe in tribalism, to please come to our aid, to please set our committee to come and see about their, our land issue. I the Bandungo tribal chief in Nima. I know what is going on here. What they will say in their mouth and what in their heart is quite different. You see in the example, the poor boy came to bear his father play. They stop him, they want to jail him. I have to go send his bond and hear all legal documents. So the authority should call Baga to find out why he carried their ball to the police. To find out why Mr. Yena has to carry the ball to court. You see? So please take this my message to our president of the Republic. President, we are please come to our aid, the Madingo people. We are not living in peace here. They wouldn't lie to you there that we are together. We are not together here. It's a lie. It's a black lie. I can prove that. They're sitting on our land. They have been putting all kinds of duplication of D. Oh, for our land, whereby we have the original, they, we have been denied. There are old people that don't want to come out and tell them, look, they play off for them and they will move. But they will always support their children there. And now pushing somebody against the wall. The worst conflict <coughs> is acne conflict. The acne conflict now trying to grow up here in Mimba because of land. So I'm advising him to intervene very early. If not, it will go out of hand. And now when team and mountain, mountain together, when it explode, it will be uncontrolled. All those are watching me. Yes. All those are watching me. And when you make it as your duty to share this important information in order of our president to understand the language that is in Nima County. If you are watching me, share this information. This information, it is very, very crucial. This information in San Nicolet, Nima County, it is very, very crucial. It's about time, President Wea, intervene. It's about time, the Internal Affairs Minister, Vani Salib, to intervene. There is no justice in Nima County. No justice. There's a conspiracy against the Madingos in That's San Nicolet, Nima County. That is true. I know you have the final voice. Yes. Please <coughs> make the, a final word. The, the, the final word is thank what you very you much. You thank you very much for coming here. To, 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 to see what is going on. Thanks for coming on the ground here. Many thanks. Well, as I said from the beginning, the minister told the superintendent to come and tell the, I mean, the, the land, I mean, or, or, or the city mayor to refund the people's money and turn the land to the rightful owner. I'm appealing to superintendent, John Cooper, to implement that. If not, <laughs> Then he will be the cause for, for acne conflicts to come out. There will be it if Superintendent Dark Cooper. He failed. Fail. 
there will be your egg nation in Nima County. That is true. In fact, I spoke with him this morning. Yes. And now I'm going to meet him two hours from now. Meet him. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Mr. Kamara. Yes. I know you have the final voice. Yes, I have final voice. <laughs> What message do you have for President George Weir? Thank you very much. Mr. Weir, I thank you, I thank you, I thank you for your effort that you are trying to. I wish, I pray to God that you be successful for your first administration. But the, my, first, my last message to you, we want real changes. I want people feel free and comfortable to come back home. The judicial says that there should be changes. Because when you see us, there are a lot of women and women I can't get nobody who can talk for me. Not being for the Mandingo chief, I will go in prison. Not being for the international, some kind of human rights lawyer was there, stood my bone, I will go in prison. So when we have some of our brother, the people that are sitting down in Moravia, compel them to come here, to come sleep on the street, to look after the Madingo people interests, that could be the best solution to this. Let them go and sit down to the court. Some of the people that are taking a lot of money, they are not suffering, they are not doing nothing for the Madingo people. They should get rid of them. Some of the poor, poor people who have Madingo people are hard. As Brother Jabate is doing his best. Look, asking for certain position. He can help it. Because we always see him. We can educate him. He can make mistakes. He needs education. We can do it. But he have Madingo people at heart. He deserves it from us. We want somebody at heart. Know what the BB both BB English you speak. That is not the one we want now. We want genuine. We want genuine peace in Liberia. If we want it, we will take people who have Liberia heart. Not the people who are sitting down waiting the tension should blow up down the hook. Uh, that is no sin. We want justice now. We are asking the president and the senior senator will say, Mr. Johnson, Mr. Prince Johnson, you are a senior senator. I told you, you are my brother. Then let bygone be bygone. We are finishing with this thing. We will finish it. Come in Nimba County, talk to your countrymen. Let us stop. Let us stop. We are not enemy to the man and the kill. When the Satan can anything can happen. The one that happy is over. As we say, it's over. Don't allow Madugo men to get gross against Mano men or Gio men. We want peace in Nimba County. That is my final message. What's, your, you. what's your name? My name is uh, Fandamari Kambara. Let me talk to you. And there are so many people that are watching me in San Nicole. My people, how are you doing? How are you? I know somebody wants to say something, right? Yes. You want to say something? Yes, sir. Come in. Come here. My name is before you go and uh -huh. you are a man or man? Man. Okay, go ahead. Uh, like my brother said, we are all Nubanian, but we are not from Senegal, but since it's our headquarters, we live in, in Nima County to pay the nation. You know, there is a war that took place during 1990 war, it took everybody. But the same with peace, we should come together. No peace, all no peace, yes, sacrifice. So that is the case. We are out of war today. I was speaking today, my say, my, none of my family has gave it today, and we don't have peace of land to our home. I want me well to escape and come in Senegal to live there. But what my younger brother saying, there's a development, and we are crying on a nation to come on a cry to help us. When he please, my say, please. Why he say, togetherness is good, Neto, fight against one another. Just a piece of land. They enough for us, and for the mighty God out, and for him. Enough for us. Thank you. We all live down and go. Thank you. We say, what's your name? Buddha Yanko is my name. And I'm seeing a young man, and he is in a, he's a business man. Uh, I'm seeing you, and you are setting your jokes around, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, in what business and you carry on around here, my good brother? Yeah. What business you carry around? Let me see. What are you doing? I'm selling pintail. Let me see. Carry on. Let me see. I sell pintail around to sofa. Uh huh. Standing before you, many years that I was One of the students from the community college in Nimba County. My message to the president. I really want to congratulate and appreciate your effort by declaring the education system in Liberia as free. And we really appreciate it. And now, so on, we are lack of financial support. It's not easy. We derive from poor family background, and we really need assistance. We're struggling. It's not easy. Why it's true that you have declared the education system free? There are a whole lot of activity like in the college or in the very university. There are a whole lot of activity that require money. So we really need help. 
We really need help, like job facility, like uh, vacation job. We need. I, I, I hold you right there. We are discussing less dispute. Oh, less dispute. Yes. Thank you so much. What do you have to say? Okay. About the Madingos are complaining. That's good. That's good. When it comes to focus, there is no travel. Uh, travel is not good. The Madingo, the Gio, the Mano, we are all the same. And now, myself, I'm listening to Rene on a daily basis. The Madingo people are crying. We are all in barriers. That my brother was saying, he's crying. We need justice. All of all, we need to be on an equal level. When I job facility, they, they have to give it to them. They have to get in position. They are not different. They are not foreigners. They are our brothers. So the um, president has to listen to us and be able to do something about it. Do you speak Gyo? Yeah, I speak Gyo. You go from like I go be your la. I mean, you won't get me where I'm going to pose them. Men, why me? Why me? Why me? Okay, more, more. I have my I have my have my books. I have my books. I have I have I I I so yeah, we are all Liberians. We are all Liberians. That should not be tribalism because the tribalism always bring problems. It bring war in the country. So we had to, we had to unite. We had to be together. Thank you so much. And is it, what's your name? I'm Dr. Tapo Allen. Mr. Allen. Yeah. Thank you so much. Let me speak to another brother. Yeah, yes, Pimano. Yeah. Uh, on that on that Yeah, we are going to say go Oh, yeah, we are going to say go Bay. Ma, 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 Thank you. Mammy, why I have a word that won't go down anymore. Don't go down to I I I'm business, African crew, I can stay. I thought, Mr. Zawia, I say, who do I sing? The Majingo and Mano is sing, and the Pera is thin people. And before Majingo is cut in Liberia, in Senegal, they cut to work, people they cut to, to work out there. Work out there, get their play. They put a cinema can like that, hold the play like that, but I say, they work out there, get their play. So people buy their own, and so people give it to them, Film say it for you. Say okay, say it for you, for you. So please help you. You must send people. You must talk about the prayer and manual and manual and girls to be together, huh? Before they let private, you can't spoil them. Okay. Thank you so much. You say what's your name? My name is Sam Bato. Oh, Sam Bato. Mm. And that's it. Then I'm a blog. I'm a ball to close this program. My job at is in San Nicolé, Nima County. I am on my way to Kanfo Baba. We want to know what actually is happening to our people. From Baba Kanfo, I'll be traveling to Kampli to see the situation, what actually is going on, to inform the public. But it's about time that the Maringo intellectuals stand on their feet to defend their community. It should not be on Facebook to read commentary. It's about time to engage the central government. It's about time to engage the central government. Where are we? Where are we heading? Mama Labiro. Where are we heading? You wouldn't want to be on social media to castigate, to insult. It's Madingo community, it's a disorganized community, that is a question I'm asking. Where are the so-called intellectuals 
who claim to be in the interest of the Madinka community. Here is the situation in Sanikore, Nima County. Here is the situation. And I, I miss Sanikore today, and uh, I'm seeing a lot of people that surround me. And they all want to little cakes around here, all in Sanikore. And let me see. And I know. <laughs> And Mama, you want to talk to me? Mama, okay. Eh? Mama, talk to me. Come here. Don't be shame. Come, Mama. Something <laughs> What <laughs> Okay, thank you, Mama. Okay, I want you to interpret it. Did you listen to her? Yeah, listen to her. What she say? Uh, as she says, she is on fire. Uh -huh. Manigo and fire, they are the same. But this day, they're talking about today, she do not know much about it. Was he in a point of Jovia to come on a point of rescue to cool this situation down? So the final words she had to say, we thank you to uh, for coming. Yes. yes. She oh, came and saw the horse, but she don't know where the owner. Okay, the owner. She don't know the where the owner. Was she in a point of Jovia to come and plug into a, a sub the fire and let the fire go down? But my own is going to our leader that in Nimakade, both Nimakade, to come and look into the problem. Then Nimakade be safe. Then Nimakade be cool. Because we can't just grow up, we go to straight to Jawia. Jawia will not come from other, he can't solve the problem. May the prince stop her and look into the case going. We don't want any conflict. Like we have been suffering for long. I am not going to speak. Okay, okay. okay. That's my word. Okay. Mama, you want to say something? Yeah, I can't say something, Mama. Yeah. Tell Mama. Everybody looking at you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mama, what's your name? What she say? Can you try to interpret her? Yes, Corden. Okay. She saying that she oh, talking to the person eh, to come on a scene rescue. Because this horse, that they will if you pay, that they will be born and that they will get we can get our child from. So let Jovia come for the sea rescue. Let the matter go down. So she is only uh, talking to uh, uh, her. to come down and talk into the case. Let the case go down small. We see that our final words she had to say. She says she's begging our president to come down and talk into the case. Okay, Mama, and uh, just stick right there. And I'm about to close this program. And all those are watching me, please share this in crucial information in order for President Wuyad to get this message. It's about time that the Madigo intellectuals wake up to defend their people in Nima County.
And I'm on my way to Kampo. I'm on my way to Yekipa. I'm on my way to Zagoi. I'm on my way to Kampo. I'm doing all these things in order to see my community interest. I don't need money. I don't need presses. I know we all have responsibility for our com community. And that is my community. That is my responsibility to push the interest of my community. Today, I will meet Senator Prince Johnson. Tonight, he's in Ganta today. I already have a appointment with him. And I will show him the video. Let him do something. But you can share this important information in order for the public to know what actually is going on in Nima County. From our discussion today, in Ganta, with Senator Prince Johnson, I will make the public to know. And it's about time that we stand up to defend our community. I say, join me within two hours or one hour, 30 minutes, I will be in Yekipa, Bapa, Kianfu, Kampli. I say to all my brothers and sisters, my Javate is the only Giyumo son in the Republic of Mama Labiro. Good day. Thank you.